we do not have a main event for UFC 300. Now, the UFC has put out some things graphically to suggest that we are waiting on a main event, whether it'll be for an undisputed UFC championship or not, I don't know. But if you go through the men's divisions, and it does tie in perhaps to Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler, Conor pushing out a tweet saying McGregor on 300 seals the deal. So maybe there's a window of hope that Conor and Chandler could headline. But Kenny, when you go through the men's divisions, right? Flyweight, doubtful Alessandre Pantoja, Bantamweight UFC 299, featherweight UFC 298. It's not going to be Islam Makhachev, perhaps because of Ramadan. And we already have seen sort of the way the lightweight division has been laid out with Armand Saragian and Charles Oliveira, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway. So you got welterweight, Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad. Middleweight, depending on Drake's Duplessis relative health. And then light heavyweight. And of course, the champion is Alex Pereira. And there are rumblings of a UFC pay-per-view in Rio de Janeiro on May 4th, and perhaps Alex Pereira would be held for that date. So we sit here now, Ken Flo, and it's not going to be the heavyweight division either, by the way, because John Jones is on the men. So we sit here now without a main event, and I'm just not sure that it's going to be an undisputed UFC championship. I think it might be Conor McGregor, Michael Chandler, Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz. I don't know, but I think by this time next week, we'll probably have an answer. Well, here's the thing. Conor McGregor versus anybody is going to be the biggest fight you could put on UFC 300, right? Um, I, I assume, um, you know, him and Chandler, uh, if there's going to be a non-title fight as a main event, it would be that one, right? That's probably the only choice. I, I think they might be leaning towards a, a DDP Adesanya fight. I think that's probably the one that I am most intrigued by. Um, and as far as title fights, I think that's probably the biggest title fight that you can put on at this point. Now, I definitely want to see the Bilal Leon Edwards fight, but if they're trying to blow it out, just from a right. marketing standpoint, from what we've seen in the past, um, you, you got to think that Adesanya being the big pay-per-view star that he has been for the organization, that that uh, fight against DDP would be the one to make. Now, it all depends on how healthy both of those individuals are. Uh, that would be my pick, but certainly... You know, if the UFC is looking at it and Chandler and Connor are available, then that would be the one to do that. I mean, the card's already stacked. It's almost like, do they need a main event at this point? You know, I think they'd be right. just fine. But I think the UFC is looking to really stack that with one championship fight. And um, yeah, I, I hope it's Adesanya and DDP. That would be fantastic. Now, you can be sure that. Dana White and Hunter Campbell want to do right by Michael Chandler, who has been nothing if not a promotional soldier. But if you could put together a fight between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz, the fan base would go batshit crazy. But I do hope that they do right by Chandler. And Michael Chandler has responded in kind. You know, Conor McGregor has been out two and a half years. If he's healthy, why are we waiting until UFC 302? Want to also talk about Drake is Duplessis in this equation because we had his manager, Dan Danny Rubenstein, on our show last week. And he sort of suggested that while UFC 300 would be a massive payday, a big part of the financial gains for DDP are going to be rooted in successfully defending the title and making a defense or two as a champion. So expediting his first title defense or rushing into it on one leg potentially would not necessarily be the preferred option for them. I do want to read a quote here from Hamza Chimaya because I do think in some part he factors into this equation whether or not people think he is worthy of a middleweight championship opportunity or not. Here's the quote from Hamza. All these guys have fought each other and only me is undefeated, undisputed. They promised me after the Utsman fight I will fight I will for sure fight for the title. I won that fight, so I don't know what's going on. I heard Dana White say, I don't think Hamzat is next for the title. That's bullshit, man. If you promise me something, you have to answer it. In my mind, it should be me. So we'll see what happens, right? If I had to make a guess right now, I do think Drake is Duplessis is going to be fighting out of the red corner and the last fighter to walk at UFC 300. But it's really an interesting proposition. Now, I was at my twin brother's house today, and I couldn't find the genesis of these rumors. But he was talking about some situation whereby Leon Edwards would remain the welterweight champion, but the UFC would make that the 175-pound division and then maybe create a title at 165 pounds, and maybe you have Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler fight for that vacant title. Now, a lot of MMA fans hear that, and they probably want to throw up in their mouth, but <laughs> the UFC can really do whatever they want. They created a BMF title, and a lot of people turn their nose up at a championship belt or a belt for the baddest motherfucker on the planet, but that has worked out pretty well. 